Hi, Farouk here at Direct Hub, coming at you with another FE exam study tip. So this is a simple study tip where we're going to take the PDF of the FE handbook and mark it down with comments, notes, things to watch out for, and so on. So it's simple. We're going to, let's say, take that handbook and put, let's say, a comment for something to watch out for. Or let's say we put a comment for a concept that we have to apply. Or we put a comment for, let's say, a unit conversion that's not so obvious, that's not so straightforward, and it can be tricky for certain types of equations in this FE handbook. So why would you want to do this? So first of all, we know this exam is huge. It's going to cover a lot of sections. And we will naturally forget what we learned in mathematics, let's say, when we move up to statics. We're going to naturally forget what we learned in that math section, and that's okay. So long as we have a study structure and we're using certain study techniques to help us stop forgetting. So how do we stop forgetting? Reviewing. Or another word that's thrown out there a lot nowadays is spaced repetition. All this means is we're spacing our learning where we're going to consistently or constantly go back and review what we learned. And we want to review in a certain way, not by just passively looking over notes. You want to review by recalling the information. Flashcards is a great way to do that. Or you want to review by reworking the same problems, using your own solution, using your own method. That's again, active recall. And you want to do this, be careful, don't do it too early, right? You want to do it at a point where you are just about to forget. You don't want to do it too early because it doesn't make sense. Things are already fresh. You, every, the concepts are fresh, the equations and so on. So you want to do it at a point, just at the point where you're starting to feel like you're forgetting. And this really depends on the person. For me, maybe it's two weeks. Maybe it's one week, depending on the subject as well. If the subject is really hard, maybe it's going to be a few days or one week. So just make sure the whole idea is you're actively reviewing. You can set out a day for review, maybe once a week or every two weeks. You just want to make sure you're constantly going back and reviewing. And these comments that we're going to put in our FE handbook that I'm about to show you will do just that. So we're going to place certain co comments, let's say, about an equation that we messed up on or a tricky equation that we got stuck with. Or maybe it's a variable in equation or maybe it's a unit conversion. So we're going to place our comments directly in the PDF of the, of the FE handbook, and this will serve as an excellent review resource once we go back and review. So it's simple. All you have to do is put, let's say, certain comments, certain notes about an equation you got messed up on or a unit conversion and so on. So I'm going to walk you through an example here, and we're going to focus for mathematics and that mensuration section. So all we do here, we're going to use and put these notes and comments in our PDF of the FE handbook. Always use the PDF when you're practicing. Always, always, always. You're mimicking the actual FE exam. You're building skills for the actual FE exam. Anyway, so we know this is the handbook. And FE handbook, the latest one that I have. And what I'm going to do is go on the mathematics. I like using my bookmarks a lot. So I use that bookmark. And then what I'm going to do is you can... Basically, there's going to be a lot of these comments. As you're practicing and learning and covering lesson notes and you're using good resources, the right resources that are pointing these out, the instructor or the teacher is showing you what you need to be careful with, the units. And this is what I exactly do with all my students in the direct hub course. I point out certain conversions and we talk about them and I stress them and things to just you want to watch out for for this FE exam. So first of all, let's do an example here and I'm gonna use the mensuration section. So let me use the arrows just to go down. And we know the mensuration areas, we have these parabola, ellipse and so on. But the one I'm gonna focus on is let's say a circular segment. So I'm gonna focus on this. And we know, let's say you're going through the course, you do an example for this and you get confused. You get confused, which is likely because of the angle, the phi angle, this internal angle. And here it says, if we look closely, it says S, the phi equals S over R. S over R, we know, is the definition of the radian, right? We take the S, this is like the length S, we divide by R, and that is, in essence, the definition of a radian. Those are like radian units. 
So we know that you have to be careful with this. This S over R is radians. It's going to give you an output for that phi angle in radians. And you wouldn't know that unless you have the right resources or somebody specifically told you, be careful with this. A solution, the instructor, a video. So make sure that you're learning this stuff and watching out for these types of things. And this is exactly what I would put as a comment and something to always look out for. Because I know I'm going to forget that as I move on. So I'm going to put that as a comment in my PDF of the handbook. And the way you can do this, you can click this comment button, add a sticky note. You can do that. But the way I do is just click this. And we know I already have two here. I'll show you that at the end, just some random ones. But in this case, I want to know that S over R, when I saw for feet, just that part, if I do that, we're going to get radians. So what I'm going to do is put that as a comment. And you can put it as a highlight comment, as a bubble comment, like a sticky note, uh, underline, this type, a slash, this type, whatever. So this type wouldn't essentially, it, it would just add a cursor. But in this case, we can also use like a text comment. You can just keep it like that as a text comment here. But we know you, the one that I would use is going to be the highlight. So I'll just keep it as a highlight comment in this example. But explore with these or if you only have one option, just use that and make best use of what you have. So we know in this case, S over R, I want to point that out, is we're going to get output of radiance. So I want to point that out and I want to state that clearly. So that's going to be that part. So let's post that and notice how it saves it. So make sure always you're going back and saving this. So I want to save it. Make sure you're saving this PDF as you're putting these comments. So then the next part is going to be, I want to comment, what if I do 2 R cosine R minus D divided by R? The units for that would be degrees. So this is when it gets confusing. When you do this part, we will get degrees. So what I'm going to do is go back and you cannot really highlight the whole thing, but I'll just do this part. I'll just do that and put we're going to get output of degrees output of degrees so when you're using that part of the equation this the phi angle is going to be in degrees let's post that so i have that and i have that now the last part is the area the area is usually what we want to find the area here of that shaded region what is this phi angle what does that have to be the phi angle when you use that area you have to know this it's going to be radians so angle must be in radians so we have to have this in radians when we put it in the area equation and also you have to be in radian mode when you use the calculator when you solve for that area so let's put make sure you're in radian mode make sure you're in radian mode so that is going to be the phi angle and that's basically all I have for you so this is the tip this is the tip mark down put these comments because they're going to be a great review resource once you go back when you're starting to forget the certain things you're learning as you move from one section to the next and i'll just show you real quick other comments that i have this one is going to be the one for el hotel's rule so i noticed when i was doing this is you can use this multiple times you can use the el hotel rule on again time after time. For example, if you don't get the limit using the El Hapta rule once, you can apply it again, again, another time El Hapta's rule to see if you, we get a value for the limit. But that's unlikely for the FE, but that's just something I wanted to know. And also one thing here that I have is this plain frame stuff for determining stability can be used for beams. In fact, we covered that in a YouTube video. We relied on the handbook, we noticed that for plain frame, we can use the same equations to look at the determinacy for beams. But that's it. This is the study tip. Try it out, play with it, and see if it's helping you retain and remember stuff better. Because you want to always, once again, constantly go back and review what you learned just to help you retain that information for the long term leading up to your FE exam date. And I wish you the best, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.